Hello guys, if you've been following me for long enough, you know I'm a big fan of practical examples and practical projects and demos and code reviews with real examples. So I tried to come up with various examples and one of those is a small demo project I will show you today is a Facebook feed or social media feed. So you would imagine how algorithm is complex enough to order the posts in the way that would be the most compelling to the user. And in reality, it's very, very complex. So I tried to simulate a small part of it and let's see what eloquent query we have and how can we optimize that. And this is where I want to invite you to participate. The repository will be public and you can add your suggestions what to improve maybe you would do something differently or maybe i am totally wrong somewhere participate in the comments and in the repository so the task imagine you have a huge database of users posts comments and reactions which means reaction is like love and maybe others it's all in a database i've seeded a lot of data my colleague nerius helped me with that but in the database we have a thousand users then ten thousand posts by those users then 100,000 comments, then some comments and some posts have media, which is image for the post. Also users have avatars as media, then users follow other users with 57,000 rows here of connections between the users and also reactions, 2 million reactions of different users for different posts. And the task is for logged in user to show top 10 posts based on the most popular ones and the most relevant to that user. I came up with such criteria. Posts should be by users who I follow as logged in users. So that's one criteria. Then posts should be in the last seven days or for example, 30 days or whatever, basically newer posts and then ordered by some kind of algorithm, which is a complex function of amount of likes, amount of reactions, amount of comments, amount of likes on those comments and also media. So there's kind of a rating a posts score for each post which is one point for every reaction, two points for every share, three points for every comment, also one point for every reaction on every comment, and also 10 points for any media file, which means visual posts should be higher. And this is what we get here, a feed for a particular user. So this post is higher because it has 11 reactions and 12 comments. So the score should be around 20 something and one comment. Then we have a bit lower score, a bit lower amount of comments. Then somewhere in the middle, we have a media post. So it gives 10 points, but it has fewer reactions. So you get the idea here. Now, what would this eloquent query look like and how could we optimize that? So after a few experimentations, here's what we came up with me and my colleague Nerius in the home controller, invocable controller with only one method. And this is the main thing. So what is happening here? we get followers posts, which is a pretty complex relationship in a user model, followers post, it's a belongs to many, to followable model. For following, we're using a package in the composer JSON Laravel follow this one. So it adds the database structure, the one that I've shown you before, I will show you again followables. So this is provided by the package. So we take the posts by those followables, then from those posts, we'll load the posts with media because we need to show posts with images, then with user media, meaning author with avatar, then with reactions. So we need to show the likes, the shares and others. And for reactions, by the way, we use another package called Laravel Markable. With that, you can add likes, reactions, loves and other symbols to the post or to whatever entry. So then we also load popular comments with popular replies. That was another thing. We load only the first comment, the most popular comment with potential reply. If there is a reply to that comment, let me scroll down. Maybe there will be a case here. No, it doesn't show in this case, in this user story, there should be at least one reply. But popular comment is a relationship on post model. It has one post comment with count of reactions order by descending of that reactions. So again, pretty complex thing. And also that comment should be loaded with popular reply. So another query, and we will take a look at exactly the database queries in a minute. 
Now I want to quickly run down through controller and then we will dive a bit deeper. Then we filter the posts by date. We load with counts all of those relationships, which is mostly has many or belongs to many relationships to order by those counts. And this is exactly the formula that I've mentioned earlier. So order by this plus this times three plus that plus this and then even this case mysql case if there is a media account then we add a 10 otherwise we add zero points so this is kind of the score of the post and we order by that score descending then we take 10 posts and show them now what is happening under the hood what are the sql queries if we refresh the page again at the bottom i have laravel debug bar installed and let's see the queries there are 10 queries. One of them is about logged in user, but this is the main query, the main SQL. So we select the post with count of media, with count of comments, with count this and that, and then order by that formula limit 10. And this query takes half a second, 459. Let's refresh again to be sure, 461, pretty similar. And then for all of those posts, it loads additional data. So selecting authors, selecting avatars from those authors. So this is eager loaded and that's already kind of optimized. So if we didn't do loading here, for example, user with media, let's actually delete that or comment that out and try to refresh. So I will show you the difference. Otherwise it would be like 28 queries. So more queries to the database, selecting users for each post. So we do already do eager loading. So that's already kind of optimized, but I will show you one more thing with caching, kind of a caching that could be optimized. But anyway, this is our main query. And for everything else, all other queries are pretty quick. So even less than millisecond or one millisecond or five milliseconds, except for one more query, which is selecting comments and their reactions order by reaction. So this is relatively heavy with 0.2 of a second, but there's not much more we can optimize here. Probably, maybe you will have ideas. But what I do want to show you how to optimize that, and I want to raise the question, do we have to calculate those reactions and that score every time we load those posts? Maybe we could have that score stored in the post and then order by that. So this is kind of a caching strategy. So you cache the amount of relative records in the main table, kind of duplicating the data, but then you don't have to join those tables each time you need to order. So we implemented exactly that. And in the table of posts, there are those fields. Post reactions count, comments count, share post count, media count, and comment reactions count. And with observers, every time the reaction is added or comment is added, it calculates increments that number. In our case, it's not the observer, but it could be observer in the booted method of post comment model. This happens, created a comment, post of that comment increments comments count. So then the selects of post with ordering are much faster, but of course the inserting of the comments and the reactions is a bit slower. So you pick your poison and you choose where to optimize the performance. Now, if we use those fields instead of with count, we can comment out the with count. And also I need to rename post reactions count because that's how field is named in the database. All the others are the same. And now let's launch that query again on the home page. And we have the same 10 queries, but see how shorter that is. So instead of half a second, we have 14 milliseconds and the whole page is loaded. Well, half a second faster. So this is the actual strategy I wanted to show you. So kind of a long video leading to that particular thought and idea. If you want to show some records calculating the width count and then ordering by that, ordering by popularity, by the amount of comments, by amount of some related records. One of the ways to optimize that if you have a lot of data is to save those numbers, kind of cache those numbers in the main table, and then you won't need those related tables every time. What do you think about this strategy? Or would you do something differently? Again, the repo is public. You can suggest your own optimizations for this particular caching or for other parts. Maybe you have some ideas. 
play around just in general. It's a good kind of training, practice training on optimizing projects, optimizing Eloquent or database structure and playing around with that. Also, I have quite a few courses to help you with optimizations in general. So in various ways, I've touched on the optimization in the courses like better Eloquent performance, for example, Laravel refactoring examples, solid code in Laravel, how to structure databases in Laravel, it all comes together. So you need to play around with code, experiment, maybe restructure the database if needed. There's no one way to optimize the code for performance. So you can take one of those courses or all courses one by one. The best way to do that is to subscribe to yearly membership to get all of my courses and everything I will release for a year ahead. So you can join me on this journey of improving Laravel knowledge together. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.